What's good? Right in front of me, I got the Asus ROG Ally Z1 Extreme. In today's video, we are covering V Ryzen 1.0, just been released from Early Access. What is V Ryzen? You get to experience a vampire survival action RPG game developed by Stunlock Studios. You will be a newly resurrected vampire, awakened after centuries of slumber, weakened and thirsty for blood. In a whole world where the vampires have been mostly been chased into the shadows. V Rising can be a single player or players can make allies online as you explore the dark open world. The gameplay includes magical and physical combat, hunting for blood, hunting down bosses and when you're killing them to steal their powers, claim your territory and build a mighty castle. All the vampire rules, those elements are set in your playthrough. The most obvious one is avoiding the deadly sunlight which sets your character on fire. Garlic and silver will inflict debuff. You got to go through all the vampire rules. Those elements are set in your playthrough. The obvious one is avoiding the deadly sunlight which sets you on fire. Garlic and silver will inflict debuffs and to survive you have to drink blood to grow your strength. The art style is very well crafted, the dark atmosphere and the environments does really well matching your gameplay. Travel through the dark fantasy gameplay with forests, open countrysides, brave sites, uncover haunted towns, make sure you stick to the shadows during the daytime, hunt prey under the night and absorb their knowledge and power by drinking their blood. As you're playing along. You get a hit list of certain enemies you need to kill which really makes the game outstanding. That is the combat. This is what has you coming back wanting more to unlock. You also learn and master deadly weapons and magic abilities as you level your vampire's powers. Different bosses unlock different workstations. You can build as you go, collect resources as you adventure on. As you grow you are expanding your options for what you can craft. I've created my V-Girl Peaches, as you can see here. I create Peaches on every character creation game I play, from Demon Souls, Elden Ring and Baldur's Gate. Oh, the sun is going, so we could freely run around now. Before, we had to stick to the shadows, as I was saying earlier in the video. So as you play along, as I was saying, you could collect resources as you're just running along. You have some enemies here, you can just hit them, feed on them. And as you can see that red ball on the left hand side, that's your first for blood. <laughs> you start off with nothing, but as you play through, you'll be crafting your gear and collecting gear and resources what you need. As I was saying before in the video, you could go out for hunt. Each hunt you get rewarded and items what you could use to progress in your adventure. Let's get the sound on to see how the sound's going and then we're going to check my video settings. The sound really does match the gameplay. We could get a battle going to give you a quick feel how the combat is. I really do enjoy the combat. And as you progress in the game, the combat gets more advanced. And each ability you go through has a timer. Decent amount of loot in the game. Fight the death. But this is like a field boss. Uh oh. I haven't gone against her yet. Really, truly, I should get out of here because I don't want to die. But when you do die, you have to come back and get your resources. So let me get out of here. Ooh. When you get into a situation like this and your life is low, you could quickly just run from that and run back into your base. And once you're back into your base, you can recover your health. 
Once sunlight's out, you can also hide into your coffin. So I would recover right now. As I'm recovering, we can look at the settings. So head to settings, hit your menu button. And once you're in the menu, press RB right down to system. And once you're in system, hit options. In the beginning, I found it very hard to change my settings. Let me show you an example. So I can scroll down, hit A again, I can't change. If you are on the ROG Ally and you want to change your graphical settings, you need to hit the command center button. And once you're in the command center, hit desktop mode. And once you're in desktop mode, your mouse shall pop up. There we go. And then we could change the settings this way. But everything's set on high for me. Right now I've got it on high for my quality preset. My settings were all left for default. Everything's set to high. Let's jump up. I'm awake again. Fully healed. To have a unique experience playing a survival game, V Rising is actually the one and it works flawlessly on the ROG Ally. Actually works perfectly. There's no complaints. I have not had any bugs whatsoever. And the stronger you grow, the more you just want to play. At the moment, I'm in Act 1 first for power. I enjoy the unique art style and the functions in game. So right now we have hit Sunrise. This is what I'll be saying. Let me zoom back out. You can see shadows in game, so this is what you need to stick to, especially during sunrise. There we go. Boom, you could be burnt to ash within seconds. But yeah, this is V Rising on the ROG Ally. Right, let's get out of here. This is how the map looks in game, reasonably sized. What I do like, I do like setting waypoints. The waypoints are beautiful to navigate myself on the map. It gives you like a red line where you want to follow back to or wherever you set your waypoint. Let's get back into the shadows. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Have you started V Rising yet? And you can look into play V Rising. And remember, when you do subscribe to the channel, it really does help. I do have new content uploading really soon. This shall be my settings for V Rising. I didn't really change much. I really had the game set at default, to be honest. I'm just showing you in today's video how well the game runs on the ASUS ROG Ally. But thank you. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.